Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited for this video. It's a gadget I've wanted to try for quite some time. Couldn't really justify the price point, but now I'm making a video, so that's a great excuse of getting one. My husband is already complaining where are we going to put it, but I don't care. I just want to try it out. Let's go. Here it is. I haven't unpacked it yet, so let's start with that. It's a kebab grill, or um, I'm probably going to use it more for gyro, but yeah, let's uh, unpack and see if it works. <laughs> Okay, this can't be too hard, right? Um... Okay, it's on, it's turning, it's heating up, so it's working. Now let's put some meat on it. I've already um, put my chicken in a marinade and let it sit overnight. Uh, so yeah, I think it's skewer time. So obviously my battery went dead during the skewing, but it was very easy. It's two kilos of chicken thigh. Now let's put this one on. Okay. And, and now we wait. <laughs> I don't know for how long. Maybe it's in the description. Hmm. Okay, we're grilling away. In the instruction manual it says you can cut your first portion of meat after around 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, but I feel like that's a bit quick, but yeah, let's see how it goes. We're four minutes in. <laughs> We're now 20 minutes in. It's looking good. I do like my chicken very crispy. So I'm going to let it sit for a little bit more. So while this is still grilling away, I'm making my Greek pitas. The difference between Greek pitas and regular ones is that this you bake in a, in a pan and it's flat and you can fold it around your meat. The regular pitas you bake in the oven and they puff up so you get a nice little pocket. So you'll make a, a ball first, with, you pull in all of the edges, just like we did with the pizza the other day. Like a little mozzarella ball, pinch it, and then on a not floured surface, you'll just roll it around and the friction will cause the, the ball to tighten. Like this. We pull in all of the edges. Like a little mozzarella ball, turn it over on a not floured surface, and then you'll scrape your dough over the countertop until a tight ball starts to form. I'm not left handed, so it's not working for me <laughs> with my left hand. Like this, that's all.
My meat is done, and now we're going to slice it. Can I hold this? It is cooked. I'm going to try using a bread knife because I want really thin slices. Ah, this doesn't work. Shit. We got our Greek pita. I'm just going to put on some coleslaw. Not traditional, but I like it, so. <clears throat> and then our gyro. And some tzatziki. Let's taste test. <clears throat> okay, it's time to do some taste testing. I just took a quick moment to finish my lunch and to gather my thoughts. Let me just start with saying I really love the product. It delivers, it does what it says it does. It gives you nice crispy meat, moist on the inside. What I loved about it is that the fat melts down, so the meat bastes itself. That's what keeps it so moist. And I usually I'm, I don't really love um, chicken thighs just because it's so fatty. And here you couldn't taste the fattiness at all. The fat all rendered off really nicely. Um, I did have some difficulties cutting off the meat properly. That could be my own fault though with not stacking it properly when I skewered it. Um, maybe it was just kind of uneven and that's why I had difficulties cutting it off. Uh, I guess that takes some practice. I don't know where I'm going to store it yet or how often I'm going to use it. We do eat Greek pita quite a lot, so I imagine that I might use it more than other people. Um, all in all, I love the gadget. Uh, happy I bought it. Uh, it's 60 euros well spent, I think. So yeah, I'm very curious to hear what you think of it. Would you ever buy a gadget like that? Would you ever spend 60 euros on something like that? Please let me know in the comments down below. And also if you like this video, then please like and subscribe and then I'll see you guys next time.